Kraken? So it's 50-50. Magneton, beautiful. That's how you spell south, right? <laughs> Sorry, I just... I know, I know I'm like being all corny and stuff now, but... Do you know how long it's been since I've been back here? It's been forever, man! Oh, I need to press buttons. People of the internet. Um, oh, wrong screen. Sorry. Um, it's been a good weekend. Uh, I spent most of last week with my son, as people saw on stream or on the video the other day. Oh, well, today. Um, I can say that Norman has been cooked. The only issue is that I haven't cooked any of the trainers. Yeah, I probably could have cooked it over the weekend, but, um, you know, I just wanted to relax. The, the, the team that I have for Norman... Ooh. Hold up. Who actually just resubbed? Thank you for the resub. I just can't see. Oh, uh, thank you, Radski. <laughs> um, yeah, from, from what I can see... So far, Norman is cooked. It might involve that team there. Um, yeah, but I still need to go through all the gym trainers. We got one of these. You can't see it, can you? So potentially in the future, um, we might be doing um, like 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 VGC, uh, 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 VGC battles and. Um, Maybe shiny hunting. I, I enjoy shiny hunting. But it's not as cool as it used to be, man. Back in the day when it was like literally just full odds. Alright, let's do it. Going through the speed room. Um, it's just, it looks easier. I don't want to deal with the, um, the Machamp in the accuracy room. And th this looks deathless. Alright, so Star Raptor into the Ninjusk. We actually, this Pokemon sees kill in every single Pokemon. Like every single one. But there's a chance that it dies on the Yan Mega. So we just kill this with the dual wing beat. To then bring out Scolipede because we speed tie. Um, yeah, we weren't dead to rock slide there at all. Then it goes into Yan Mega. We could try and kill, but I really don't want to risk it. Oh, it goes Blaziken here. Oh, Blaziken Thunder Punch. All right. Um, so we go into this little fella. We'll hit this with a play rough. It was really bad there. Just hit this with a waterfall. Aquajet can't kill. But Aquajet, Aquajet can. Does that matter? 
Now we'll just hit it with waterfall. And this is always crunch from Sharpedo. Just going to Birch. Liquidation crit never kills us from here. We just go Leaf Blade. So I think this is from here, it's a random move. Bug buzz is worse, but we could probably bait in the correct move. All right, so if we go into Empoleon, we should be fine. No crits kill him, and then we can bait in Giga Drain. So now this is always hitting us with Giga Drain. Giga Drain does the lowest or second lowest. Not the huge. Sure. We go fake out. into Zing Zap. Give me one sec. Bug Buzz Crit is literally one off from killing. So what rooms does this open up? The defense room and the court room. All right, so going through the defense room, um, I didn't even check the accuracy room, uh, like the crit room, but that sounds scary. <laughs> uh, we've got a very good line here. All right, defense room. It, it's a pretty cool line. Okay, so this Mudsdale. We are too faster than this. And we just kill this with Leaf Storm. There's literally only one roll that doesn't kill this. And then this goes into Corviknight. 
for dual wing gate or bulk up. Where we go into huge. Is just gonna tank this like no tomorrow. Beautiful. We'll fake out for good luck. And it's body press on the switching or bulk up, doesn't matter, we outspeed kill with two loop. We go flamethrower. Which is then going to bring out Blastoise for Scald. And we're simply going to go into Nathan. He's just going to hit this with two Giga Drains. It might start setting up on us, but it doesn't matter. Go Giga Drain. Go Giga Drain. Then this is Power Whip from Ferrothorn. Might set up Leech Seed, but doesn't matter. This is very simple, go back into Tulip. We outspeed kill with flamethrower. So this clay doll's always hitting drill run. Guess who's immune? Carnivine. Um, now, it's a good time to check the AI. Leaf Storm sees kill. Does that mean it always has to go for a move? Because it could set up on us instead. Which Cosmic Power, like, we have to switch out. Doesn't matter, we've, we've found a way around it anyways. So we go Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it always has to go for an attack. So we got the the recoil room or the strength room. I don't think we have a um a ground type this time around to deal with the ball. Defense room. Strength room. Does a recall room look too scary? Alright, let's do it. Alright. So we went for the, the strength room because I think I have a good way around slacking and the medicham. So that means it's literally only three Pokemon line then. Well, like, I only have to really deal with three Pokemon. 
All right, let's do it. So we've got Napoleon with wise glasses in the front. Yep. Now Flash Cannon can kill in one shot. Doesn't matter, we have uh, Aqua Jet in the back just in case. So go Flash Cannon. Beautiful. So this is always slacking now. All right. <laughs> so this is either a sack or Samson clutches up. There is two rolls on this that kill Samson. So we're just going Samson. It's only two rolls. You've got this. Out of boy, out of boy, out of boy. And we go into Olympus on the charge turn. We go protect. We go knock off. Just double checking. I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll just go raise a shell. Well, knockoff does more. We go protect. We go raise a shell. I swear, I get PTSD from that true on there because it just feels like quick draw <laughs> from, um, what's its name? Uh, the, 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 it feels like quick draw. It feels like quick draw from Slowbro. And one last razor shell. So this is Medicham for quick kill on, on a high jump kick. Where we go protect. We then go into Pickle, who's going to take a high jump kick. And then because high jump kick doesn't say kill from here, it's going to be Zen Headbutt. And guess who's immune? Olympus. And guess what attack is going to hit? High jump kick. So this is Boomerang from Marowak. Going to run 36, who is immune. We have no item on this in case it wants to hit knockoff. And we're just going to go Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm always sees kill. Then Conkle the Little scary on this. 
because it's random move. Go to Tulip. Beautiful. Close combat can see kill from here. Three rolls that doesn't kill it. Clutch up tulip. Now it's always just clicking close combat. Ah, oh, no, not close combat, mock punch. So we just go into pickle and take the kill. Uh, we had citrus berry on there just in case um citrus berry just in case um what's it called what attack was it high jump kick crit and then it puts us back into zen headbutt range Norman room. All right, this is the line. Except you don't have that. You have citrus berry. No, not perfume. guys <sighs> so this is the furthest I've got it on stream got on stream last time we had a really bad line like it was kind of terrible This is without sacks, but I will sack anyone to get the dub. I, I need this and I want this. Half of it can be by, like, I might be playing this half by, like, on the whim. Because there is some calcs, some random calcs that can just screw me over. On top of this, I have not calc this with crits. It is impossible to calc this fight with crits. Like, I do not know what this this guy was thinking when he made this fight. A Meloetta, a a a, a crazy strong Diggersby, a Porygon two with Eviolite. That's crazy. And then a Mega Pidgeot before you can even get Megas. This fight is ridiculous beyond belief. And that's why we're going to do it Deathless today.
Which room was it? Was it this one? No. Alright guys, this is the best I could cook. I'm not a great chef. I just know how to make two minute noodles. And that's about it. Boys do me proud. For you, please don't get um body slammed on the switch in. Please don't get body slammed on the switch in. I mean it. Just get earthquaked. The the tentacle literally has amazing stats and we're just you need to clutch up. That's it. Carnivine just clutch up. There's other people who need to clutch up too, but just please, for the love of God, do not get body slammed on the Diggersby. And on that note. Let's do it! <laughs> Alright. So our tentacle's really amazing. Like he is a guy. I cannot get over how good this tentacle is. Now there there is a range where this can just do some crazy stuff. We go toxic. I'm hoping it doesn't try attack straight away. Beautiful. We then hit Acid Spray, which is better than two Veno Shocks. Because this is dealing damage. And it's like kind of dealing double damage. And then we go Veno Shock. Beautiful. So this brings out Diggersby for Earthquake. Or Body Slam. Now, we really want this to be Earthquake. There's no one else that can switch in. Go Leaf Storm. Well, we'll go Leaf Blade. Doesn't matter which one we do. So this is Focus Ash. Now this is either Foul Play, Body Slam, or Quick Attack. We're going to Pingu. Foul play is the worst. Foul play is the worst there. We hit this with Aqua Jet. So now this is Zoomeral. I have no idea why it goes into this Zoomeral. But it just does. We need to flash cannon the hell out of this thing. We needed citrus berry on this because it can take four 
It can take three, uh, uh, what's it called? Three, three play roughs where you clear body as well. How much does life do heal? Heals 32. All right. He's not dead here. That's really not a good range. The thing is, at this range... At this range... It can be any attack. So it can't be Aqua Jet, right? You just can't be Aqua Jet. Oh, it can be Aqua Jet. Could be Body Slam. Could be Waterfall. Because we outspeed. What I'm thinking, if we go into Pickle, no, Pickle's paralyzed, what am I talking about? I might need to sack Carnivine here, because I can go in with someone and kill. There's no way I'm sacking Empoleon. This Empoleon's a zero speed Empoleon, and like, from this position, I could have used a scale to bump this thing's speed to 31, but there's no point, because um, it would have been dead at this range anyways. Because it hits Aquajet 100% of the time, but now it's just... Alright. I'm sorry, run 36. Whoa, Aqua Jets does so much to Togue. All right, yeah, I think we still go Togue. Go Fake Out. Yeah, I thought so. Um... I really don't want this to take an Aqua Jet. That's a lot of damage. You're just gonna have to, I'm sorry. What role was that? Wow, just realizing if I went straight into Togue, he would have the Carnivine would have survived. So now this is always close combat. No, it wouldn't have been dead. Yeah, it would have been dead. Oh, well. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know. I know. Yep. So it's always close combat here. And then it could be Zen Headbutt. But I want it to transform. Alright, we'll go Pickle. To take the close combat. Now, this is always Zen Headbutt. <sighs> really needed this to transform. Give me one sec. Because I think if um switching to... You now. Then it goes Relic Song. Then it transforms, right? And it hits Zen Headbutt. Alright, take a Zen Headbutt for me, buddy. So now it's going to hit Relic Song and Transform. Which is 91, but then it outspeeds and kills us. So we need to go back into Pickle to take the Relic Song. So now it's random move. We go into Sakuna. We're not dead to anything other than crits. We go dual wing beat. Alright, so from this range, it is Chinchino for either Rock Blast or Triple Axel. If this isn't Triple Axel, um, Token Amara is dead. And I don't know how I deal with this. Oh, Tail Slap, beautiful! Deja vu, yeah man. <laughs> so we hit this with fake out. And then this is just fast enough, so we just go like iron head. Okay. 
So the Mega Pidgey got in the back. This only sees kill with Heat Wave. It sees one roll with Hyper Voice. That's it. We go into Pesto. Who now, unfortunately... So the original plan was to go Icy Wind to lower, lower this thing's speed and then switch back into Toga tomorrow. But now that can't work because Togedomaru is dead on every single move on Switch in. The highest damaging move this thing goes for is Hurricane. And Hurricane sees kill on Togedomaru. So someone needs to go. And... If I wasn't dumb, it would have been this guy. So we hit Icy Wind. And I don't want it to be Pickle. It's either Pickle or Pesto. And I, I... I can't... I can't decide. The thing is, I'm leaning towards this war and dying. But we don't get another Ice type for the longest time. This just deals with dragons like no tomorrow. Meanwhile, Tentacruel is our only fighting type resist and is so quick, is so tanky, is everything. And this is also thick fat too, which is amazing. Made my decision. I mean, it doesn't matter, Zing Zap just kills. I know, I know I should be more excited about this. <sighs> but man... <laughs> The decisions you have to make in this game, man. <sighs> it just sucks sometimes. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I, this, I, I know it's just not fucking. 
fucking war in, but... Yeah, I know, but the thing is, the token Amaru had a range to kill with Fake Out. And then we wouldn't have lost the Warren. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye to Warren, man. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the call out. I. The thing is. There was a range to kill with Token Amaru on the fake out. Alright, Pickle. I'm not joking. You literally, and at like a billion percent, you have. You have got to clutch up. You don't have a choice. You hear me, Pickle? You're only alive because look at those stats. You're only alive because of that. So I need this tentacle to clutch up like no tomorrow. I think that's it for me, boys. Um, I'm going to jump in Discord after this. I, I, I'm happy I got here. I'm really happy I got here. But man, the sacrifices I had to make along the way was ridiculous. Peace, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.